Iran's news agency reported explosions near the airport in the country's central Isfahan city earlier in the day. However, in a later development, Iranian media now says that there have been no attacks from abroad. It said that there is no major damage reported to the nuclear facilities after explosions were heard near the central city of Isfahan. It's important to know that several Iranian nuclear sites are located in the Isfahan province, including Natanz, that's the centerpiece of Iran's uranium enrichment program. Given these developments, is the specter of regional conflict in West Asia closer than ever? While Israeli forces have declined to comment, where do things stand in the region right now? My name is Haim Korsaroyan. To discuss this, we have with us Farshid Bagarian, political analyst. Thank you so much for joining us on We On World Is One. You for inviting me. Okay, thank you very much. I'm at the service. Yeah. Uh, sir, what is your assessment of the developments of the day in West Asia? Iranian media now says that there have been no attacks from abroad. How do you assess this? Thank you very much. This is not the new narrative because uh, Iran and Israel has the conflict and is the uh, inner conflict from many years. But uh, tell political conflict derived to geopolitical conflict, especially in Syria region. The, this is started when uh, from the 7th of October, but the Hamas and Israel war it started from that that time because Iran always trying to keeping this war local and not widening this war to uh, 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 and spread it over around the region. This is what is common between Iran and the United States and other U.S. countries. But for Israel, is not right, because Israel is trying to widen that, because Israel has no uh, victory on Hamas. Uh, I mean, I'm talking about the region, it's not Hamas. So the best way for the Mr. Netanyahu and his cabinet is to widen this war. That started, I mean, the, the main flame started in uh, uh, when the uh, Israel attacked the Iran uh, missionaries, political missionary in Damascus. Hmm. After that, Iran trying to find his right in the international law. But international law, it failed because n n no countries, I mean, supported Iran by this and Security Council. Uh, the conclusion was against Iran, not not in support of Iran. So Iran didn't find any any reflex on any I mean back or uh, equals on the I mean uh, world hmm. opinion regarding this attack. After that, Iran told and sent the messages to the world that I'm trying to to uh, have a uh, not unprecedented but precedented uh, retaliatory attack on Israel, and Iran did it, but. It was uncontrolled because Iran, first of all, from the 7th of October, was in self-control, and Iran used its uh, legitimate self-defense system. That was the controlled chaos, controlled power, and controlled attack. And the, this this time, I mean, this morning, the drone attack by Israel is also the same. I mean, that is is a reasonable attack because Israel sent some drones, and this is not. Mm. Obvious uh, that this attack is made from Israel itself, Israel okay. land, or other places. Okay, thank you. Uh, I'm I'm listening. Uh, right, sir. Sorry to interject there, but I just want to understand these developments. Of course, it highlights just how volatile the situation in West Asia is. So, how do you see things panning out in the region? If you talk, if you are talking, um, I mean, by region, if you are talking about the Iran, the Iran, and between Iran and Israel, and um, this is one thousand and some hundred kilometers between Iran, the region is the escalation right now is what we need. Hmm. Even Iran, even Turkey, Iraq, Syria, and even America, United States, because of the election, the escalation is right, right now is very important, and I believe that Israel, by this attack. I mean, the, the minimal, as, as the minimum scale attack, even in the military zone, not other zone, because Israel didn't use no necessary target doctrine. It sent the drones, possibly, to the military basis, not nuclear, I mean, uh, uh, attack, because, you know, no, nobody, no government in the world support the nuclear attack hmm. by Israel. So hmm. Israel limited this. Uh, uh, it is my opinion. Limited this attack, first of all, to send a message to their people, to the public mind, to the cabinet, hmm. and to the world that I have the power, but I want to use my self-control. And this is very important for the region. I'm not expecting 
any escalation and any new aggression in the in the region. And I believe that everything is under control because Iran and Israel, Iran, but this is a very important thing that two days before, Iran sent a message via Egypt to Israel. And this is the first time in its own kind. And this is a very important thing. First, second, Iran sent a message to America after the attack to the uh, consulate in Damascus. Mm -hmm. Directly. This is a very important thing that for the escalation and for the escalation in the region. And uh, because, you know, what, what we need in Egypt is economy, nothing else. We need corridors to produce, to evaluate, I mean, uh, to, uh, economy. We need that. Hmm. Right now, look, Hormuz Strait, Bab al Mandab Strait, Red Sea, Ben Gurion Strait, for example, Suez Strait, they, they, they are under attack. And the world cannot stand for, for with this de-escalation, this, this escalation, mm. the uh, supply chain uh, escalation. This is very important for the region, all people of the world, because you know, we have the right for live. We have to the right for better live. And the people all around the world right now doesn't want war. Believe me. Right. And many, 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 many states all around the world, even even because war. For example, the globalism, I mean, the, the who that they, they, they are um, uh, order, they, they are trying to new order, world new order. Hmm. They want to make escalation. They want war to mm -hmm. reduce the people, the population on the world. This part of the region of the world has no population. Totally, the population of Iran and Israel is 100 million. And this is not enough for them. So this region is not igniting any third world war. All right. uh, I, I ensure you that this is not the Third World War. Third World War must be done by the United States itself, not oh. the proxy powers. Okay, thank you. Yeah. All right. In fact, I was just going to ask you this next, but uh, you have... Uh summarize that for us. I yeah. also wanted to bring in the statement that we heard from the Israeli Prime Minister who has reiterated that his country is committed to defeating the terrorist axis in Gaza, freeing hostages and to repelling the overall threat coming from Iran. So how do you assess Israel's position at the moment? Uh, the, the, the most um, um, awfully uh, issue in Israel is right now is the hostages. Hmm. Because we know, first of all, we don't know what is the the final situation of the hostages and their uh, their health and where they, they, they are living right now and where they, they are prisoned right now. This is very important. And the, the family of the hostages right now is on the, is on the street. And right now, the escalation in the, in the uh, social, I mean, uh, public and social communities in Israel is getting higher every day. And they want this cabinet to re-election, I mean, uh, to... Uh, not a scheduled pre-election for the uh, Mr. Netanyahu cabinet. So the first thing is to calm, calm down, calm down all the aggressions. Second, to sit on the table with Hamas and other powers. And right now, the other powers is engaged and involved in this uh, uh, aggression right now. Because after after uh, attack to Iran, any kind of attack, it is drone attack, a ballistic missile, or every kind of attack, no problem. After this issue, after this issue for security matters, this is ontological security, this is, uh, I mean, regional security, whatsoever you call it, for the security and um, establishing new security and new order in the Middle East, the big power, the superpower will enter and will engage. One of them is India. I believe that India, after this issue, Will um, will have the, the more more effective effectively role in the region for the mm -hmm. peace process. I believe that. I believe that. Yeah. All right. Well, Mr. Bagarian, thank you so much for joining us on We On World thank is One too. with your inputs on this. Thank, thank you. you too. Thank you for inviting us. Yeah. For latest news, download the We On app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.